sticky. It's like somebody blew their nose on it. Good morning, everybody. So it's a Friday, um, beautiful day. Uh, Deb Waller from Deb Waller Auctions and Estate Sales. You might've seen some of her videos on, on my channel before. She's hosting uh, an estate sale this morning at a house. So uh, I'm, I got the auction truck all gassed up, ready to go. I'm gonna blast off over there. At eight o'clock, she just opens the door to the garage, to the house, and everybody just stampedes in at once. And it's grab what you can. And uh, I'm bringing a laundry basket, so I throw, <laughs> can throw a bunch of stuff in there. I don't think I'm going to be able to film. I don't have a camera person. I can't imagine running around with a laundry basket in one hand and a camera in the other and trying to throw this stuff in there. But as the thing winds up, obviously, I'll show you what I got. So here we go. Okay. Well, here is part of... I'm in the garage. This is mostly... Oh, well, there's a generator... Air comp this is craftsman tools and otherwise. Lawnmower. Um, okay, and here we got, look what I found in a box. Some of these are so cool and I've never seen before like that. From 1906. And then a lot of these bottles have wasa on them then your standard you know glass stuff well this bowl is pretty cool tupperware silver pyrex okay here we have some cool stuff that pyrex is really old or oh the scale is cool Carnival glass, that doohickey there, some bottle caps. This is pretty cool. Let's open some. Some knives. I gotta put that together yet. Um, this thing, Aladdin. Um, oh yeah. That's pretty neat. Okay, that's this table from the 1800s. Um, here is some really old shavers, shears. This is super cool. It hooks up to one of those. But these are super cool. These straight razors. Of course, I can't open it. Oh, good night, Irene. That's neat. That's from Germany. Anyway, there's quite a few in there. This is quite a doozy. Here it is. In all its wonder. It's gorgeous. This opens up. Very well taken care of. For the ice chest, you walk in to the other part of the basement. These are cool. This is an old dresser, but I'm sure you're not really interested in that one. Um, oh, that's a cool picture. So, did I get some cool stuff? I think I did. Um, I did get some good buys. And I got some good bread and butter pieces. 
let's blast through it. There's really not all that much here, but there's a couple of them that I want to slow down on and actually spend a little more time with. I do great with these. This can be a standing shelf. It can be wall mount. I like it because this is this is all carved here. This piece of wood here is carved, and vintage rattan, uh, vintage wicker. Even it, you know, like this has been shabby. So what? Um, man, it really rings the bell. It sells fantastically. It really does. And this isn't hard to box. You know, doesn't weigh much, so it's shipping friendly in my opinion. These are a winner every time. All right, moving forward, they had this little uh, welcome sign. No great shakes, but um, this is all hand painted. Artist signed, cows in the barn. Gorgeous, right? This is all hand painted. So you probably like, what's up with this horrible looking pair of overalls? And typically, you know, I would agree, these are, they, these were in a corner in the garage balled up where all the spiders like to live. Pretty disgusting. But, it's a vintage walls blizzard proof. And these are insulated, quilted all the way down to the, to the leg cuff. And yeah, it's got a few holes in it here and there. No big deal. But um, vintage overalls like this, you'd be shocked how, how well this stuff sells. stuck in here so off to the laundromat it will go where it will probably get three or four machine washings a and w driving ashtray moon's laundromat Crandon, wisconsin did you know that they have block and cube ice you do know so she had two of these and I've sold lots of these over the years. Most people don't know what they are, but it's a, it's a salesman sample of a Lane Cedar chest. And they typically have a city, the name of the furniture store, and where they're located, Marathon, Wisconsin. And it was only four bucks. I think the last one I sold, I think I got 25 for. No great shakes, I'm not gonna get rich off it, but good bread and butter pieces. They sell real quick. You don't have to make a lot of excuses. They ship easy. Whoops. Storing stuff in there. And this is Wausau Furniture Company, Wausau. Look at that. Never get the key, ever. Man, they smell great. Solid cedar. Pretty cool. This I thought was a killer buy. This is carved hand-painted alabaster from Italy, two bucks. I can't, I, you know, it was one. It was in that one bedroom that was, you see it's made in Italy. That one bedroom where nobody went in. A Couple more boring pieces and then we'll get back to the good stuff. Um, I don't have one of these. <laughs> Just a, a little helper stand to put your lumber on. I mean, I, I repair a lot of the furniture that I have here, nothing major, just little glue ups and replace a broken board and stupid stuff like that but it really helps to have another set of hands and that's exactly what that is same with this in fact i've already got one of these this is one of those multi-tools craftsman but um what i don't like about not having two is i don't like having to stop to change up the bit and sometimes i, I want to have a cutting bit and a sanding bit at the same time where's the zipper I don't even know what I'm showing you. This y'all know what this is. One of these guys. That was 10 bucks. So now I have that spare. It doesn't really light my fire today, but one of the next few projects I've got coming up down the road. Boom. Happiness. So I was really stoked to get this. Really stoked. I love it. It's got some boogers on it. I gotta get off of there, but. This is a really old bench, but check out the intricacy of 
how they put the bottom of that together. It's really cool. Unbelievable. It could use a little bit of a glue up and it's not real bad, but clearly somebody used it as a plant stand. You can see where the, the plants are on here and kind of boogered up the finish. Something like that, I don't even really think I'd want to finish. I'd probably just do a glue up on it and it's super clean and oil it and call it a day because I, I kind of really like that old patina. I think it's really cool. I've gotten into clothing, vintage clothing, and it's an amazing market. It's amazing. And I try to get stuff that's still user friendly. This is an old Field and Stream, just a winter coat. She had it for seven and a half bucks. And I'll probably get 40 bucks for it. I mean, again, it's not gonna, it's not gonna put me over the top, but, but these are cool. Check out these two. It says Indians on it. They're wool, Letterman style, like, you know, like a varsity style, quilted. They're by Trophy Jackets. And uh, I, would, I would guess these are what this patch says. I would say they're probably 80s and older. And um, they're good shape. One has even some. If your name is Beth, I got you covered. What are the chances of getting two of them? They must have been two girls in the same family, or maybe the same girl just had a spare in case, in case of whatever. Anyway, these are, these are good inventory. They're really good inventory going into Halloween. <laughs> They're really, really good. And then I got this really good pair. These are high quality shaps, all leather. First brand, they zip all the way. And they're just in rock and perfect condition. They're just, they're excellent. And I think I only paid, I think I paid five bucks for these. A set of shaps like that online or 60, 70 bucks. And then lastly, for the clothes. Oh, wow, cool. A fleece line jacket. But, look at that. I'm gonna go out with this thing tonight. I'm gonna be pulling people over all night long. This is gonna be a blast. A Sheriff's Department jacket. Whatever. That's fun. Excuse me, sir. Can I see your license and registration? <sighs> well, this is a mid-century modern gossip bench. Got your phone book here, got your telephone up there, your coffee, your ashtray. Get on the phone and start ranking on all your friends. In pretty good shape. No rips or tears. Solid. I think it's a winner. I think I paid. I think I paid just under twenty. I think I paid eight seventeen fifty or eighteen fifty for it. But I've had these in the past, even going back to the real old antique ones that are all, of course made out of wood. And they always go right down the road. Excellent sellers. Alright, I know this isn't very exciting this part, but this box has probably two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four to fifteen rolls. And this is super, super thick. Super sticky tape. Again, antique store adjacent. I'm an online seller for the most part. I'm packing boxes every day of the week. Even a bad, you know, package of, I think, 16 rolls of two inch wide packing tape on eBay now. It's like 60 bucks. <laughs> so to get this for $5, even though it's, it's a little too much, it's, a, it's so sticky, it's so hard to mess with. Um, but it might be too that it was really hot and humid. I don't know. I'm going to give it a roll. I mean, I, I just can't go wrong. I just can't go wrong for that kind of money. And whenever you can cut on supplies, you just got to do it. So this is, this is another favorite purchase. This is, you know, 
noisy. Okay, um, if you watch me, you know I'm really into lighting. Antique vintage lighting of all kinds. So this is, this is the bones of an old time, really old time chandelier. So this would be like that. And these come down and fit on the end of there. Kind of a tulip style. It has all the brass sleeves that go on. It would fit something like that. Socket would go inside. There's only a couple sockets in here. I think there's two. And maybe, oh, you know what? There are more. There's four of them. Five would be all I need. Oh wait, there's five. Okay. I'll have to inspect those, make sure they're right. But it's no big deal to rewire this. I mean, it doesn't take that long. So, it, it's pretty complete. So then you have, it's even got the gasket plate. That would fit in there. This would go up in here, tighten up. And this is, this is your ceiling plate, right? So it would hang like this. The light would suspend off of this. And um, it's, got, it's got all of it. That's, that's cast iron. It even says what it is on the back. Glasses, need glasses. I like the faint paint that's still on the brass flowers. It does appear to be all here. I don't see any any hardware for this, but one good thing about lamp hardware, it's always pretty much the same. Oh, even those parts are still there. The chain looks good. I'm stoked I got that. Just some lighting I get, I mean, there are people way more geeky about it than me online. I put some, something out there and a guy goes, look, I'm not, I just got them restoring one of those I'm not in the market for right now, but you could ask cripple for what you're asking for it and get it. So some of these really old timers like this are awesome in the story. And it was 10 bucks. I didn't even try to beat her up. This is $10, I'm in. I'm in all day long on that. This box has so much cool stuff in there. I don't even know where to start. Anyway, this is this is an old antique air pilot. The kerosene lamp. Made by Embry. Um, I got a Chatillon, Chatillon brass hanging scale. They use these for all kinds of things. Um, he had some local bottles. This is Leidiger. And um, this, I believe, this might be Marathon County, which is where Wausau is. Old man, this is really old. You should see how thick this glass is. But it's a quarter inch. And it's a crown top. I would, it's, it's a molded one. So it's machine made. I would, I would guess that's no earlier than 1920, probably. Um, I've never seen one of these. So we all know about Aladdin lamps, right? Uh, maybe this is just this is just a maintenance thing to keep in the house, right? Put it on the wall, keep your Aladdin parts in there, because before they had electric lamps, this is how you lit your house. Because it's got the cream top on it. One quart, Snyder's and Wausau. And it was seven and a half bucks. It's not a great buy, but it's hard to find them with the little cream top on it. So that was cool. And there's one more bottle I bought. I'm not a big bottle guy, but these are all, this is all local stuff. And this is a Geo Rooter um, Brewing Company in Wausau. Again, that's really old. That's an applied top. That's, I'm gonna put that around 1910. Heavy, man. I mean, you could, you could commit a very dangerous crime with that. Oh man, this 
sticky. It's like somebody blew their nose on it. There were some really good razors. German. Look at that. There's a there's a stag. Pretty cool. I could lose a couple of quarts with this thing real quick. There were two boxes of ephemera. A lot of this stuff is really, really back there. Um, Plat books are really good inventory. Um, people love to see where the folks' house, their grandparents' house, who owned their house back in the day. Wow, look at that, 1893. Maybe that's an eight. 1898, maybe? 1893? Can't sell. See, it's a little warm. Lincoln, Nebraska. It's not even from around here. Farm Mechanics. January 1926. That was state of the art, 1926. It's two horsepower, so that's good. Doesn't use much oil, always starts. Assessment roll, 1933. County, Marathon County for the year 1933. So it's for taxes. Why do I have this? <laughs> so I think this might be my very favorite part of this whole thing. I love old crates. First I saw this one. And I didn't see a date or anything on it. Clearly it's old. And it's all there. Ten bucks. It's a no-brainer, really. This this Atlas Frosty's root beer, and it's loaded with dad's little dad's bottles of junior size. There's three, six, nine, twelve. There's twenty-three. One short of a full case. This is a little janky. I mean, it's a pretty solid crate yet, but it's way overloaded with all this glass. Is this this glass? There was. There was one I grabbed that had a, a chunk out of the bottom. Boy, it really gives you an idea how thick this glass is when you look at that. It's a, it's a mile thick. But this is my favorite. These are rare. These get kissed um, crates. Ten bucks. She sold it to me with all the bottles in it. I haven't looked these up online. I've only seen one in my life. And here's 24 bottles, looking like they're all in killer condition. I have a, I have a another get kissed up here. Going for it. See it on the bottom. Get kissed. That crate is from the 40s, and I wouldn't sell. I wouldn't take a hundred bucks for it because they're that rare. They're just impossible to find. And now I have two of them here. And it's, and I said the, the bottles look really good. Just need some washing up. So yeah, pretty good scores. All right, so I'd already turned the camera off because I was lifting bottles out just to make sure there weren't any giant stowaway spiders inside there. Anyway, I lifted up one of the bottles, and I thought this was like a slug, like for putting in an electrical box, but then I see it kind of looks like a quarter, but the edge has been cut off. Anyway, I don't know if I can date that. Let me go get a toothbrush or something and scrub that off because I wonder if it's a 64 or older and it's silver. I have no idea.
Let's check it out. All right, so I cleaned it up. And here's a little trick for being able to see things. Better put some light sideways, not down on it. Come across the side. Really, you can play around with what angle gets it done the best. Clearly, it looks like 1967 to me, which would not make it silver, I think. I think it has to be 64 and older to be silver. Wow. Well, I thought I had a score there. I don't know why the edge is cut off. It's weird. Um, somebody obviously modified that to perform some purpose for them. One of these days, I'm going to find money. Everybody says that they do it in this business, but I've yet to do it. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. I got one more thing. So, the the uh, wall cover coveralls were kind of draped over this old floor lamp. Look at the base on that. Oh wow! That's this is what I had outside. I was cleaning it, and uh, she sold it for three bucks. The cord is ridiculously destroyed. It's just. It's just snapped everywhere. That's not a cord. I don't know what you do. When you plug that in, it's it's electrons holding hands. I don't even know what that is. But uh, my first thought was, to, I, I have a globe here. Let me get the camera out. I like, I like really just everything about it. It just needs a good cleanup. And what else is cool is the little marble-ish looking bit right here. There's a socket for it. So that lights up. It's got a floor switch you can just turn on with your foot. But my thought was, I have this globe, which is an unusual globe. It's, it's not easy to find those. And I'm not wild about the lamp because somebody painted it poop brown. Ugh, God, it's just a horrible paint job on it. But I could clean this part off without a lot of hardship. But that globe is killer. But... Now that I got them sitting here side by side, I can clearly see that this diameter is smaller. That globe is not gonna fit in there. See that side by side? That's, that one's definitely smaller diameter. But this one is the exact diameter of this one here. So I might just do that. And that's a killer lamp. No electronics in it. They've all just been ripped right out. So I can I can still make one killer one out of that. I just need to put a new cord on this and look around. I might have a globe. I might have some other kind of globe for this one somewhere around here. But yeah, three bucks, pfft, no brainer. Absolute no brainer. Whew, man, temperature's dropping like a rock outside. It's getting freezing. Anyway, you guys. Thanks for coming along on this one. I got a pretty cool one coming up. Like, there was a guy that, man, he lives like an hour north of here. He built like a little village in his backyard, like a little gas station and a general store. And Anyway, they sold all of it. And I bought a massive truckload of stuff. So that's coming up. Lots of signs. If you're into signs, make sure you come back for that one. Uh, that's all I got for now. Thanks so much for coming along. See you in the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.